Awesome. Ah! Ah! My keyboard fell down. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Ooh. Your Grace, a Mr. Ben Jordan is here to see you. Ben Jordan? Very well. Send him in. Hello, Father. Thank you for seeing me. Hello, Ben. What may I do for you? Uh, it's a small wooden cross. The portrait of St. Thomas Aqu uh, Aqu Aquinas or Aquinas hangs above the door. The dramatic portrait of Jesus holding his glowing heart is on the wall. The eyes seem to follow you. The bookcase holds several volumes of religious texts. There is a large golden pot on top of the bookshelf. You wonder if it's a chamber pot. Ben! That's gross. Uh, oh. A large mirror in an ornate frame hangs on the wall. I hope it's not like one of those see-through things, like where you see a mirror on one side, but on the other side you can, like, see through it. It would be rude to get smudges all over the seminary's mirror. Alright, if you say so. Uh, none of the books interest you. I'd rather not find out what the pot contains. Don't want to touch anything in this room. Nothing good came from the last time you took someone's cross, so you decide to leave this one alone. Very good. Usually that works. Oh my god, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. That was pretty incredible. The head of St. Uh, St. Thomas Seminary looks like he's been there a very long time. God, I'm going to do that again. Usually that works the other way around. That is so wrong. Nice view. Yes, it is quite nice. I already forgot what his voice sounds like. Whoops. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. Certainly. What can you tell me about the seminary? We begin the education of all aspiring clergy members here. Our seminary is very well known, and we have had uh, some of our graduates go on to do many things. In fact, we have had several members of the Vatican pass through here. Pretty prestigious. Indeed. Were you interested in joining? Me? Oh, no, I, I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd pass by. Just in the neighborhood? I've never heard of someone being just in the neighborhood and stopping by a seminary. Well, now you have. <laughs> have you been at the seminary long? I have. How long exactly? This will be my 67th year. No kidding, you must have seen a lot of people come through here. I have had the privilege to know many fine members of the clergy, yes. Do you know Cardinal Genovese? Nicholas? Yes, I know him. He was the former head of this seminary. When he was appointed Cardinal, I took his place. In fact, this used to be his office. Really? Yes. I've kept it more or less the same as he had it. How well did you know him exactly? I would say quite well. I knew him for several years before he went to Rome. Do you still keep in touch with him? Occasionally I correspond with him, yes. Would you have any idea where he is now? I'm afraid not. What is this about, young man? You probably wouldn't believe me if I told you. Let's just say I'm looking for him. Looking for him? If that's the case, you would do better asking the Vatican. At the Vatican. Oh, I know. I already met him there. What I need to know is where he's gone. What makes you think he's left the Vatican? A reliable source told me he's gone to look for something, somewhere. Pardon? Looking for something? Yeah, like I said, you wouldn't believe me. Anyway, I should probably get going soon. Yes, well, I apologize for not being able to assist you further. It's okay. I guess looking for information on him here was kind of a long shot. Thank you for your time. A pleasure, my son. I'll just be going now. 
You know, I get the feeling that we're going to come back here and search the office just because uh, this guy made a point of saying, Oh, I kept the office exactly as he kept it before he left. So I get the feeling we'll be Father Flanagan. Uh-oh. What's going on? Yes, Your Grace. It seems we may have a problem. What sort of problem? That young man who was just here was asking about Cardinal uh, Genovese. Why would that be a problem? Ordinarily it wouldn't, but he said some things which concerned me. Such as? He said the Cardinal had left the Vatican to go look for something. You mean? I had heard that Bianchi had had some trouble retrieving the amulet. Perhaps he failed. That means Genovese has gone after the final relic. Do you think Jordan knows about the knights? He may. I'll see if I can get in contact with someone in Rome and see what's going on. In the meantime, have Jordan followed. We may have to keep an eye on him. Yes, Your Grace. Well, crap. Looks like these guys are probably part of the Knights of St. Anthony. <clears throat> Any progress? Not really. I found a little information on Cardinal Genovese, but that's it. I still don't have any idea where he could be. That is unfortunate. We're pretty much at a dead end, aren't we? I wouldn't say that. Oh, you wouldn't? Let's look at the facts for a minute. We have no idea where Cardinal Genovese is. He's going to do some kind of weird ritual in a couple of days. He killed my friend. My girlfriend is nowhere to be found, and we have absolutely no way of finding her or Genevieve's. Not to mention, you don't seem to give me a straight answer about certain things I need to know about. So unless you start telling me everything or have some kind of trick up your sleeve, I would consider ourselves pretty much screwed, wouldn't you? Now, oh, Mr. Jordan. Who's that? I haven't a clue. No one knows where I live. Answer the door, Mr. Jordan. But be on your guard. Auto saving? Uh oh. Am I in trouble? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say. You know what? Uh. I'll bet I'm going to die, so I'm just going to die here and then go to the next video. Yes? May I help you? I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. I was wondering if you knew where I could find a Mr. Ben Jordan. Yes, I'm Ben Jordan. Oh, very good. You chose to cooperate. Cooperation is my middle name. What exactly is it I'm cooperating with? I've been sent to fetch you. There are certain people who would be very interested in speaking with you. You're at the Knights of St. Anthony, aren't you? They're very perceptive. So what, I'm supposed to go with you now? That would be preferable option, yes. What's my other option? I'm starting to get really sick of having cold guns pulled on me. None of this will be necessary if you just come with me. You consider wrestling the gun out of his hand, but he would probably shoot you in the scuffle. You're not going to be able to talk your way out of this one. It's time for action. Nope, gonna die. Whoops. Lol. Trouble came a-knocking. You opened up the door. Your lack of quick reaction means you're now dead on the floor. Very good. I love it. Well, I shall see you next time, where we hopefully will not die. Bye for now, everyone.